Hello Ben, how are you? Okay, you, you have some questions here. Uh, do you have any tips for arranging exercises and creating and following a practice schedule? Um, well, I'll, I'll share my own experience with this. Uh, regarding arranging, and uh, this can be also uh, applicable to uh, composition, composing. Um, in my own experience, uh, the, the things that uh, help are to find a balance between theory and song analysis. Okay, you you need to. Uh, to to know the basics are about uh, tonalities, uh, about scales, uh, about modulation, about modal interchange, uh, the modes, um, all, all the stuff. Of course, you you really need it, and there are always uh, new things to learn. Um, if you want to add uh, more advanced techniques and more advanced uh, harmony concepts and, and and other stuff, there's always uh, new new stuff to read, to learn from books, from uh, YouTube video, from GNC lessons. Also, the, the theory board here uh, at GNC forum is full of stuff to to learn and to apply. It's always very important to to try to make music with every new concept that you learn. Uh, you learn a new scale, try to make a riff, to make a solo. You learn uh, a new modal. Uh, if you're practicing modal interchange, it, it's, it's good to to take two two tonalities and try to build your own chord progressions using them. And also, if you learn any other concept, there, there are many many. Uh, clinics and um, here at uh, GNC lessons that that introduce concepts I don't know like quarter harmony or uh, the use of extended ar arpeggios and, and things like that that you can learn but it's very important to uh, apply in your compositions uh, or or demos or ideas I don't know um, that that's the theory side. Then the the the, the analysis side. Uh, I think that is very very important to analyze the music that you like, the music that uh, influences you, the the the, the style of music that you want to compose, um, and you can do that by writing down different types of analysis. You you can analyze the the structure. You can analyze the the chord progressions. The the scales you see it, uh, you can go really, really deep with this. You you can even uh, take notes of which notes are used for the vocal melodies, um, uh, the rhythm that they use, how these notes uh, relate with the chords. You you can go really deep. There's a a, a cool side. It's been a while since I, I, I searched for it, but it's something like Beatles Analysis Alan. <laughs> not sure yeah, if, if I. I'll find, yes, this. Uh, not what. Uh, I think that this is the site. Yeah. This guy made an analysis of the whole Beatles uh, discography. They, they, he analyzed. Each song, even the, the ones that are not released, or or, or, or the, he also covered different versions, and it's very interesting to get into this at first because uh, the Beatles songs are amazing regarding theory, regarding uh, all all the concepts that they use and how they uh, make simple songs and they make popular songs using really advanced concept. They, they use concepts that you will think that uh, they are only used on uh, jazz music or fusion music, but they use it for popular music, for rock and pop songs. So it is good to analyze their songs, but it's also good to see how this guy analyzes the songs because he goes really deep with the structure. Uh, let me check if we can go to any song. 
a day in the life. This one is amazing. So here you can see how he writes down the most important details about the meter, the key, the scale, the form, uh, stuff about the, the recording, of course. Then he talks about the style and form. Then he talks about the harmony and the mel melody. Then he talks about the arrangement. Okay, hold. And then he makes a walk through section by section, okay, going much deeper. So I think that if you do this type of analysis, he, he, you, you have the bears, the bridge, the middle section, you do this kind of analysis of the songs that you like, of the bands that you like, uh, you'll get a lot of information. And if you have a book, I, I do this with my previous students. I do this a bit at uh, the mentoring program. Uh, but uh, 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 getting back, if you can have a notepad, uh, a, a notebook where you analyze all your favorite songs and you write down and you have it there to, to then recheck the stuff and maybe uh, when <clears throat> you finish a song, you can mark the most interesting thing or the new concept that you learn or that concept that you say, okay, I want to use this in one of my songs. Then you, you have your own theory book, your own composition book. Um, this is amazing. I first learned this from... Uh, I, I took the idea not only from the this, this analysis by the Beatles, but also from a, a book that I got when I was really young that is called... Uh, Secret for Writing uh, Metal Songs by Troy Stutina. In, this, he, in, in that book, he, he composes a, a whole album with a singer, and then he does this type of analysis okay, the, of, of his songs. He, he writes three columns that I really took for my, my lessons that was um, a structure, what's happening, and theory uh, knowledge okay all, all the theory so you you have structure intro what's happening okay the bass start with a groove uh, playing in a notes and in, in the lower register and then in the theory part you say okay the scale used there is a minor uh, but he also uses some chromatic notes uh, whatever uh, this is the, these two things are the ones that help me the more, and the third thing that helped me the more to 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 become a, a better a better composer and arranger was to my, was my first job. One of my first job no, no, is not the first, first, but one of my first jobs was to record uh, backing tracks. Okay, backing track for singers. So. Uh, there, there was a, a studio here <coughs> that sent me 10 songs every month or maybe 12, I don't, I don't remember. Classic songs, I don't know. I even uh, recorded Marilyn Manson's uh, Sweet Dreams and I had to record the whole back, backing track, okay? I, I had to record drums, bass, guitar, uh, backing vocals. Uh, and this was uh, not only metal, it was a uh, pop, uh, soul, uh, rock, reggae, uh, every, every genre. Uh, and that helped me a lot to learn how to arrange. Okay, so uh, transcribing and uh, re, re recording stuff that you like is also an amazing training. It's important to do this uh, frequently. It's important to be constant. Uh, you, you, you won't get a lot by uh, recording one track, okay? I'm, I'm saying that I, I work for two years uh, recording 12 tracks every month. And, and I, I have to say that this affected a lot. And finally, there's a fourth thing that helped me and was to actually compose. I, I from my twenties to my thirties, I mostly focused. I I, I I didn't practice too much. I practiced guitar, 
but most of my practice was in, in my pre 2021 20, okay from from uh, 11 years old to 21 years old I was very into shredding and into improvisation and all that stuff and I played and practiced a lot then from 21 to <clears throat> I don't know uh, 10 years from there I focus mostly on production, on composition, on recording, on mixing, and uh, I, I worked a lot with my band Circe. And uh, I, of course, learned a lot about arranging, uh, recording, composition because of practicing it. Okay, so I was studying, I was analyzing, but I was also really, really composing, and again, a lot, a lot of music every month. I had a folder that says each month and I had 30 songs, I don't know, 40 songs. I, I, I used to compose a lot, okay? And of course I composed a lot for for GMC. So, well, the, the, to summarize, uh, you, you, you really need to, to, to combine these things, okay? To, to get better at, at arranging. You, you're a great composer. I'm, I'm, Think that you are a great arranger you 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 write really really good stuff <clears throat> but if you want to take that to to the next level you need to check the songs that you like see what's lacking in your music and study and analyze that those things okay study them trying to to find the relationship with theory with music theory or with audio uh, knowledge <laughs> uh, or, or, or find out which things of programming MIDI or which things of mixing you need to learn and maybe you can search for some books about that and I don't know, practice a lot okay, okay, this was a very long video I think but I hope that it helps I, I'll record another one for the practice routine